Right, of course, of course. I'll be there as soon as I can. Everything all right, Ashley? Not really, no. Sorry, I've got to go. Mm, let's just for a couple quick. Well, I've loaded your lunch card, haven't I? Yeah, but... Right, and you've got a bus fare. You yeah, know, but what if you want to buy a water smack? Well, there's this amazing thing that's called a tap. And what you do is you turn it on and then water comes out of it for free as well. Amazing, isn't it? See you later. You're doing that parental sarcasm thing like an actual love. Bit keen, aren't we? Oh, yeah. It's uh, Elves and the Shoemaker all over again. Hey. You know, uh, Benice is the shoemaker and I'm the elf doing all the work in the background. Yeah, just uh, helping her out. Yeah, right, you love it. Yeah, well, it passes the time. See you, Beth. See you. Robert, we've got a major crisis on our hands. Oh, we have, have we? We've got a coachload full of Clayton Group executives on their way right now. And I've just had an email from them saying they're expecting champagne and catering in a marquee. Well, of course they do. They're a multinational. They're not going to bring their own sandwiches with them, are they? Well, I didn't know that. And the clay pigeon thingy still needs setting up and the quad bike's conked out. I need your help in the office. What happens if Lawrence walks in? Well, I know it's not ideal, but I will handle him if I have to. Please, Robert, I'm desperate. It is unsure from the rise of the sun till the set of the mo moon. Oh, dear. You look as though you've had the wind knocked out of you. I'm fine. I'm fine. Right, well, <clears throat> I'm on my way to the cafe, and then I shall look forward to meeting you for lunch at the pub. Actually, Dad, I'm sorry. I'll have to rain check on our afternoon. Oh. Something came up. Uh, nothing serious, I hope. Well, just ordinary stuff. There's only so many hours in the day and something I had to give. Is that all right? I merely asked. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. Uh, wrong side of the bed today. Are you all right? What's wrong? I've got some news. Bad news. I thought you were going to the hospital. And I thought you were supposed to be cleaning the rooms. A certain young person doesn't want to come with me to the hospital. You don't have to talk like I'm not here. Indeed. Talking to you hasn't had much effect, has it? Don't you realise how important this is to David? He shouldn't have lied then, should he? Jacob, he really wants to see you. I don't care. I don't want to see him. You see, I have something of a situation on my hands. I can't take him to school because I haven't had the chance to notify them that he's back. Layla's already gone to the hospital and I have to get a move on. Ah, oh, so I have to babysit? Well, you're not doing much else, are you? I'm not a kid. Well, obviously not. Your flight booking and absconding from Portugal skills surpass most adults. Let's see what further skills you have, eh? Find him something to do, please, to keep him occupied. Beds need stripping, I suppose. Yes, of course they do. Jacob, your last chance to come with me. For David's sake. Fine. Any vehicle you got spare, I just need you to be on standby. Right, I'll give you a call back as soon as I know what we need and where. Cheers. How'd you get on? Well, you're right about Brimshaw's. They've got a marquee, but no way of transporting it. No problem. Home and James are doing it. You want Nicola on board? A uh, charity, as it happens. You just need to call her and tell her where to pick it up. Well, it's all very well having a marquee, but there's still no food to put in it. I'm going to call Vic. She owes me. For? Well, I don't know yet. She's family. I'll think of something. Beneath! Oh, don't worry. I need to see how Sam's getting on with the traps. Vic, it's me. How would you like to do your brother a favour? Everything all right? I am hauling bales down to the top field. Since when? Since I didn't tell you because you're on sick leave. Now, I... everything's under control. So go. You're... You do not need to be here. Oh. You got something on today? No idea. Oh, well, I'm sure Dad's in the loop. How are you feeling now you're back to reality? I bet you missed them already. I still can't believe how much Jack has grown. You know, the last time I saw him, he could barely catch a ball, and now he's doing keepy-uppies. Well, nearly. 
Well, maybe next time you visit, I could join you. I'm sure Debbie would have hit the roof if I'd done it this time. She seems pretty relaxed. She settled there. They all are. And you're not worried about what we discussed when we were out there about her meeting another guy? No. As soon as they saw me, it was like it always was. It made me realise I can make it work. I'm the dad. Nothing's going to change that. Yeah, yeah. Vic, what's your ETA? Yeah, I know it was last minute, but we need to get a shift on, cos I've got guests showing up any minute. Not in the best of moods. <laughs> uh, octogenarian. It's my job. <laughs> Pearl? No, she's gone into town. Stay there. Anyone there? Hello? Hi, uh, it's all right, it's just us. What on earth are you doing? Actually, I... Well, no, we, we just came to see Harriet to see if she could fix your lunch today. And you just walked in? The door was open. We thought there might have been... burglars. Yeah, we have to be somewhere, just the two of us. Right, we'll, um, we'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. You're supposed to be unloading the dishwasher now. Oh, very subtle. That better not be what I think it is. Don't. Uh, oh, not nudie pics then. What do you do with this? It's mine. Because oh, your name's Mr. Eric C. Pollard now, is it? I just borrowed it. What's going on, JK? What do you think? I'm going back to Portugal. Well, it's obviously pretty major, but I can't see anything booked in. Ah. Oh, hi. I didn't think you'd be back yet. <laughs> mm. Andy. All right. So, you remembered the anniversary. No, I didn't. I forgot. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry. Anniversary? Of Mum's passing. I like to mark it, that's all. And I like to be with you when you do. It's fine. So, presumably you're here to help Bernice with the event. <laughs> Actually, that was going to be my next question. What is going on out there? I can't see anything booked in. Well, I was hoping you'd tell me. So you're not running this? Me? No! <laughs> Banished from the office. Health grounds. Though, to be honest, I do still need the rest. So, whatever this is, this is all Bernice? Hmm. You can't deny they behaved oddly. Yeah, it doesn't mean they were lying. But you can't go into somebody else's house without asking, can you? I mean, I wonder what they were doing there. Maybe Ashley thought he lived there, like last time, and Laurel just found him. Oh, what is... Oh! Ashley's memory book. Uh, let me see that. Oh, sort of private? No, Laurel looks at it all the time, just to make sure he hasn't forgotten anything. What? It says... ..go to hospital. This could be serious. Well, we managed to pull it all together in the end, so... I think we deserve this, don't you? I never say no. At least I get one perk. What, in addition to getting well paid? Well, I wasn't going to do it for nothing, was I? Point is, is if I was still running things, this would be a regular thing. Permanent, even. You doing the transport, Victoria doing the catering. We could, we could really cash in. Well, anyway, well done. So, cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Bernice! Hi. OK, I know what you're thinking. No, really? What's he doing here? The fact that you'd even think it's a good idea beggars belief. OK, I know I'm not your ideal choice. <laughs> Do you reckon? But we've all done a good job here, all of us. And if we hadn't, this whole thing would have been a disaster. Yeah, and, wh and why was that? Do you reckon? Well, it's not my fault. I didn't swan off leaving me in charge. Well, there's a lesson learned there, I think. 
What are you even doing here? You must know that you're not welcome. I came because I was asked, Andy, as a favour. But seriously, Lawrence, there's huge potential in the way I've organised this. You, sh you should give it some thought. Funnily enough, I'd rather not. Now get out. Well, ladies, it's been fun. Good luck. I'm gonna go as well. But yeah, it has been fun, actually. Especially that last bit, very entertaining. But you know, he's not wrong about the potential. I'm really not interested in talking about that right now, thank you. Well, like he says, it's, it's worth thinking about. You should have told me! You were still recovering. I didn't want to put that kind of pressure on you. Oh, nice. Is that what I am to you? Some frail old man you can't bear to give bad news to in case he collapses? All right, Dad, don't talk like that. Well, I'm sorry! But it's not pleasant being treated like a dead man walking. Still here, then? Well, I can't buy the ticket without that card, can I? I don't know why you're trying to stop me. I don't know why you're so keen to go. Because I don't like being lied to. That's all. What else? No idea, but... If I ran away every time someone lied to me, I'd never stay in one place. Of course, on the other hand, if I was... scared of something, or... maybe scared of losing someone, Still, I suppose you've got to do what you've got to do. What? Well, either way, David's in hospital, Eric's worried sick about him. I guess they could both do without having a whiny kid around. I'd be gone if you hadn't stopped me. Here you go. Go back to Portugal, then. Take a detour to Vegas if you want. It's not me he's doing enough. You think I won't? Don't know. But, like you keep saying, you're not a kid, so... OK? Mr. Grown-up, if you want to hurt the people who really care about you, then that's up to you, innit? Still not picking up. Oh, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation. Yes. He's gone to hospital because his condition has worsened. Would be one. Or that something's happened to the baby would be another. Oh, everything OK? Well, you tell us. We know about the hospital. Oh. Oh? Is that all you have to say? Where is Ashley? He's fine. He's just bringing something in from the car. Look, this is really awkward. Oh. Is that Tootsie? I haven't said anything yet. Would you mind telling us what is going on? There's no easy way to say this. <clears throat> Laurel and I were visiting Edna. I'm sorry to have to tell you. She passed away. <laughs> I mean, it's so stupid. It could be a great deal staring him in the face. I don't know why you're so bothered about it, especially after everything you've been through with that lot. All right. Well, I like, I like the work. And the reason I made it happen today is because I'm good at it. Chrissy and Lawrence just need to take the blinkers off for five minutes. Good luck with that. You come back here right now, lady. The wet she has in it doing something, all right? Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll run with that again. Like, I just caught her in my room going through my stuff. I was only looking. I didn't take anything. Only because I caught you first. I didn't. Right, you have a word with her, will you? I am not having a thief living here. Well? Just take her side then, why don't you? Duty calls. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, hi. I heard you'd been to see David. Still can't believe I only found out about this today. Yeah, Eric said you were pretty mad about that. Yeah, well, uh, not anymore. When I saw him lying there in that bed, he just looked so... small. All I want is for him to get better. Yeah. He did ask for Jacob. Yeah, I'm sure he'll come round. 
How's world domination? Oh, you know what? If you come to take the mic, I'm going to take my pint outside. Hey! Now, is that any way to talk to a potential business partner? Well, you saw Lawrence. <laughs> I don't think there's any chance of that happening now. Hang on, you said there was loads of money to be made. So make it happen. He doesn't want me within a mile of that place. So what, are you just going to take that lying down, are you? I can't believe this. How long had she been ill? I believe she was diagnosed a week before she left. Ovarian cancer. So she concocted the ruse that... ..and the system. L Lily, <laughs> do you want me to no, carry on? Uh, Lily, Lily was uh, sick and needed caring for. In fact, it was the other way round. I suppose Lily was there at the end. I learned Edna was ill yesterday. Uh, then this morning, Lily rang to say she'd taken a turn for the worse. And uh, she wanted her old Bible with her. That's why we're at the house. I, I'm sorry for deceiving you. But it was Edna's strict wishes that no one should know. But why? Oh, you know Edna. No fuss. Lily had found a hospital um, not too far away from where she was born. She wanted to be back in Yorkshire. And when you got there? She wasn't conscious. Lily asked me to read to her um, a particular passage from the Bible, um, one that Edna had requested. Revelations 22. The last few verses of the New Testament. Always Edna's favourite. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. <laughs> the beginning and the end. <sighs> it's a bit blood and thunder, but... There's also a message of hope. Which is Edna all over, I suppose. Was. So, um, kept on reading. Lily held her hand. Her eyes f f fluttered open at one point, so I think she knew we were there. And when I got to the, um, the grace of Lord Jesus be with all, I was about to say amen, but when I looked up, <laughs> she was gone. You look like you need that. Well, it's been a heck of a day. Well, you have to admit, things turned out all right in the end. Robert did a good job, didn't he? No, I've been missing nothing of the kind. And you have what bigger things to think about now? Such as? I don't know. Mortality. Who I am. Blimey, me. when you say big, you mean it. Yeah. But it's just all that stuff that Dad was saying to Bernice about being a dead man walking. It made me realise how frail he still is. We all are. And then there was all that stuff that you were saying this morning about being a dad to your kids. It just got me thinking again, that's all. I don't know if I can go my whole life without knowing whether he's my real father. If anything happened to him, I, I'd never find out for sure. And I need to know. So I've decided that I'm, I'm going to organise a DNA test. Laurel's having a nap. This whole thing's really taking it out of her. Ah. Has a habit of doing that. Death. I know this has hit you hard. Counselling, are we? Well, you can take a boy out of the church, but you can't take the church out of the boy. <laughs> uh, You're angry. It's been no. It really is what Edna wanted. Except we're not sure of that, are we? Not really. 
No fuss. That's our little Edna. Except... We don't know that she might have changed her mind before taking that turn for the worse. But you weren't going to let that happen. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. You see, we don't all share Edna's belief that we shall all meet with wings and white robes in the great hereafter. Dad... Some of us believe that death is where it all ends. So I am angry, Ashley, because Edna was my dear friend and I wanted to say goodbye, goodbye, one last time, and you stop me. Could one fish causing havoc in a lake really be 20 feet long? Jeremy wades in deep on the hunt for river monsters next. Tomorrow with Billy Ocean and Ben Hanlon. Tonight at the London Palladium, is it eight? And in a new series tomorrow at nine, we're at Her Majesty's Prison, Norwich. Norwich.